Hello guys and welcome to this video on G-Works and um, in this video I want to show you some con concepts that I've been working on for example this one um, this is obvious two benches as you can see um, recently I've been traveling in a bus and um, and during this travel, of course, it gave me some inspiration about how a bus looks like, what functions are in it. Uh, especially the long distance buses, they have some, some, uh, like everything is in there. It's very complete. So, for example, this also has a small feature where you can put the chairs in a backwards position, like this. You can do both of them and then it you can imagine that for passengers to sleep in or whatever you can also put them upwards and as you can see the armchair is moving with it almost like parallel and I put this rod here so it you can imagine a, a window here for example or um, yeah a window to look to look out. Of course, there won't be any anything inside because it's it's connects and it has its limitation. Um, but okay, yeah. This first concept. I'll show you some detailed shots of it as well. Here's the mechanism. As you can see it's pretty compact and I've been thinking of making it on the other side as well but then it's a bit shifted so the seeds are here, there, there, there in a zigzag pattern. Okay, the ni next concept I've been working on is uh, like a small sports car. I'll have to zoom out for that. Um, I've built this uh, quite a while ago and I, I've i started it suddenly with uh, here the steering mechanism it, because as you can see you can steer it from the top it's pretty revolutionary uh, I mean I haven't seen it <laughs> before and it's it's really useful it's really uh, it has a really nice play feature to to be able to control the vehicle from the top makes it a lot more comfortable to drive, to play with, whatever. Um, in the back I also added a, a small feature which is like a little spring. It's, it's nearly, it's not very visible but uh, it's, it's there. <laughs> Other than that uh, I tried some things like, as you can see it's still, uh, it's not finished yet, but I tried some kind of wing doors that open like this. On the other side, I have a more yellow door, <laughs> which is in line with um, the color scheme, of course. But it's just hinged on one side, so I wanted to change this still. But I like that the f the fact that here it fits exactly between the two connectors, this piece, <clears throat> and here you can kind of lock it, and then it's well, it's not very strong but okay I've been working on the roof because I didn't find a nice solution how to to do this this is just a, an idea how to to make it uh, as I was showing before you can lift up the um, the hood I guess and here is a like one of the smallest <laughs> uh, steering mechanisms if I rotate, wait, I'll show it better. Sorry. If I rotate it here, as you can see, the mechanism works with three hinges that are connected. Let me show you. Um, let's take this off for a moment. That's the nice thing about connects. You can take it apart, and it's still works 
here you can see how it, it works exactly. So there's this normally clip piece and that's put inside of the hole of the hinge and it makes for a very small hinge that is not on the same uh, height but it's a bit shifted so the the bottom piece of the hinge is here and the upper piece is here which creates a nice effect and a very nice compact effect so that's what you can see here I'm sorry my arm is blocking the light it's not very sunny today but it is hot and here you see that uh, there are still some metallic pieces that I regularly use because first this car was completely in uh, grey scale um, but because I saw these rims and you see there's a little yellow um, mark on there so I thought hey well, let's let's try yellow <laughs> and then I found these pieces on like a flea market and I bought some of those which are also not very common um, and I tried to to make something out of it and I found a uh, I had a yellow steering wheel laying around its knacks um, which is I think from I don't know <laughs> quite a while ago so here there's an, another mechanism, I don't know if I can show you, but it, it consists of a lot of gears. Here's two on top of each other, one down and one up. And then it's here again a little crown connection and there's the final gear on top. And if I put it back it will work again. like this and if I touch the wheel you can drive again with it and the steering log is pretty nice it, it's about 90 degrees not completely because then here you run into some some issues but in in theory it's 90 degrees here in the back I, I think I'll take off the whole spoiler and stuff just to show you I mean it's a very small model so there's nothing not much that can go wrong this is also really nice I, it's kind of modular this car I'm completely destroying it um, as you can see here this is the, the rear axle let's get this out of the way here is the rear axle and there's a blue flexi rod in the middle so you can uh, have this this flexible motion as you can see in the light and again here I use the same mechanism there's the, um, the tan clip plus the hinge and then here is the another connection that can flex and the nice thing is now it's it's flat but if you push it upwards the wheels actually stay level to the to the surface so if i i mean the, you sometimes they really move this or this way but in this way they are kind of limited straight and this is just a a rod that helps with the steering motion here in the back and as you can see I also got this one it's a yellow 3D connector again I mean as you can see the frame is really simple it's really standard okay I think I talked enough about this car um, well that's for now in this uh, video I've got some other videos coming up and uh, so thank you for watching and uh, see you the next time.